Hi, I'm Bill Buxton. I'm Chief Scientist at Alias Wavefront. And what I'd like to do is give you a brief demonstration of a new prototype that we've done for evaluating vehicles on a power wall. Now, increasingly, automotive companies are using rear projection power walls to evaluate their designs on a one-to-one -one scale. The problem with that is that the people doing the evaluation do not have direct control over what's being displayed. They have to work through a technician or an intermediary. What this is, is a system that lets control go back into the hands of the person who's actually doing the evaluation. We're trying to get the computer out of the way and, let the, and get the whole system into the hands of the user, literally. Now what we're using is a props-based interface. This is what we call a graspable interface or a tangible interface. So imagine, if I'm working with cars, I actually hold a model of a car. And then, when I want to have it appear on the screen, I simply place it on a podium, and the podium senses the presence of the vehicle and its orientation. So if I want the side view, I'd place it like that. The front view, I'd place it like that. Further away, closer up. And if I wanted to compare two vehicles, I could place them side by side to control the front view, like so or like so, and have the display react accordingly. And if I want to change the lighting, use this pseudo Luxo type of lamp to control the lights on the scene. And if I wanted later on to even control the camera position for more details. Now, what I'm going to do is show you a working prototype that illustrates this. For the cars at the moment, I'm using a puck like so. When I place the car on the scene up front, the car appears there. If I move it back, you'll notice that I'm directly affecting what's on the display. I can move it forward, um, and I can swing it around and get a front view and move that in as well, up close into the light. And if I want a rear view from the same position, I just twist it. The idea is absolutely simple. Anybody now can understand how to use this system. And if I want two vehicles side by side, I bring the second vehicle up, and I place them right together, and I bring them up to the front, and there they are, so that we can do the side by side comparison. And the positions are determined precisely by the relative position on the stage. One other thing that we can do is control the background. At the moment, we're going to just push a button here. But the idea is that I just have small images of different backgrounds or environment maps, and I place them like a hotel room key into a slot, and that loads the image. But for example, here, I can change the background to night sky, the cityscape, and outdoors. And the idea is that you have photographic images which are active that just can be loaded into the stage so that again immediately you can control things. And finally, if I want to control the lights, I can pick up this and I'm holding down the pedal. And when I hold down the pedal, the lights are affected by the position of this beam that I'm holding here, a pseudo beam. And I can come through and change the lights. And when I've got a lighting I like, release the pedal and the vehicles are relit. So in a nutshell, that's the core of the concept. Of course, it's a crude prototype to just show, for communications purposes, what we're thinking about. But it's something we're able to do very, very quickly. This can be developed significantly, so it can work with any power wall with very high resolution displays. And it can even go to the point where if you want to go into the under the hood of the vehicle or open the doors, that these things can be instrumented and you can bring the camera and the lights right into the viewpoint that you want. Now, what's the next step? The next step is up to you. If this type of interaction will aid your ability to take best advantage of your investment in power walls, then we're more than happy to speak to you about doing this by way of some kind of joint research and development. Thanks for your attention.